Hundreds of RAF veterans descended on Wolverhampton today for a huge reunion. Many of them were flown in to Hapenny Green Airport as part of Project Propeller. Rebecca Wood reports. One by one, almost 100 propeller planes arrived at Hapenny Green Airport transporting Second World War RAF veterans from around the country. At the moment, I think we've got about 30 aircraft on the ground. Uh, in total, we're expecting 113. With aircraft landing about every 60 seconds, it currently makes Wolverhampton Hapney Green Airport about as busy as Birmingham and Heathrow. As ever, the British summer weather did cause some problems, with some veterans having to be driven in. But it wasn't going to stop Flight Lieutenant Russell Rusty Warman taking to the skies. Such a long time ago since. To see, see it like this, it's, it's a bit difficult because I always used to sit in the back. <laughs> the 95-year-old from Kenilworth took part in 30 operations during the war, including the Nuremberg Raid. He learnt to fly a Stearman and today got back into the cockpit, something granddaughter Kate never expected to see. It, it's actually so nice to see him sort of loving it and, and being involved and having that connection, yeah. There were smiles all round as he touched back down. It takes you back many, many years, you know, of his things. But once you get airborne, noisy things, aren't they? <laughs> this annual event wouldn't be possible without donations from members of the public and other pilots giving up their time. I think it's a worthwhile cause to say thank you to these older pilots, gunners, air crew, ground crew, um, the ATP girls, for what they did. The day was signed off with a Lancaster bomber fly past, the stalwart of the RAF among these heroes of the skies once again. Rebecca Wood, BBC Midlands, today, Wolverhampton.